Credentials Committee, the Chair recognizes Wade Emmerich, the Chairman of the Temporary Credentials Committee, for his report. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I was the Chair of the Temporary Credentials Committee, and we report as follows. The Temporary Role of the Convention was presented and adopted by the State Republican Executive Committee subject to one contest under Rule 35 which was reported to the SRAC for informational purposes. Uh, that contest involved Upshur County SD1 regarding the seating of two plates of delegates, submitted one submitted by Cynthia Ridgeway and the other by Ken Ambrose, the committee. Uh, her testimony and recommended and the SRAC determined that the credentials of the Cynthia Ridgeway delegation should be recognized. And now, Questions to be considered. Uh, we made re recommendations to the S to the, uh, uh, our recommendations were uh, on two challenges under Rule 27, both of which were very similar. Uh, one challenge under Rule 27 to the seating of a delegate, Alex Klingman from Denton County, Senate District 30, was presented to us on the ground of failure to meet the voter registration requirements. The challenge was sustained. And the committee recommends that Alex Klingman not be seated as a delegate from Dick County, SD30. There was another challenge under Rule 27 to the seating of Matthew Ware from Dick County, Senate District 12. Uh, it was presented on the ground of failure to meet their voter registration requirements. The challenge was sustained, and the committee recommends that Matthew Ware not be seated as a delegate from Dick County, Senate District 12. As of 10 a.m. today, the total registration for the convention is 3,483 delegates and 794 alternates. The actual voting strength is 8,996. A majority of the delegates is 1,742. A majority of the actual voting strength is 4,499. And that concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this time, we will consider the first challenge, which is the first question under Rule 27, and that's regarding Mr. Alex Klingman, and to accept the committee report regarding their recommendation. Is there any discussion on the committee report regarding Mr. Alex Klingman? Does anybody wish to be heard? Seeing none, all those in favor in accepting the committee report oh, oh, regarding... Oh! What's that? We don't see a light. We have lights you need to go to if you want to speak. If anybody wants to speak, go to one of the lights. Yeah, I don't see any lights. time you tell us. <laughs> Thank you very much. One light. Where are the lights? Where are the lights? the lights? We can't see the lights. <laughs> Where are the lights? Where are they? Where's the light? Where's the light? Where is the light? We, we have two places over here, one down here. Down one here. here. Mm -hmm. There's another one over here. Spotlight up! Put spotlights to, on the lights! You go to the lights and make a and turn it up. Does anybody Good job, wish Barbara. to speak on these? Yeah. If so, please go to Beverly, I'm sorry. Please recognize <laughs> the delegate at the light at this stage. <laughs> please identify yourself. I'm not shy. I don't bite though. Don't tell them that. Oh, okay. Dumb idiots. What do you think we are? The lights on. Nobody's on. <laughs> He's waving it off. All right. Anybody else wish to be heard? Go to the lights. Turn on the lights. Seeing none, we're ready for the vote. All those in favor of accepting the report, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. The ayes have it. <laughs> The next challenge, the next question is a challenge under Rule 27 regarding Matthew Ware. Does anybody wish to be heard on this matter? If so, please go to the lights and signal that you wish to be heard. The chair is seeing none. We'll take the vote. Are you ready for the vote? All those in favor of accepting the temporary credentials committee report under Rule 27 regarding Matthew Ware. Please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? No. 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 The ayes have it. Thank you.
time, the chair will recognize Diane Edmondson, chairman of the Temporary Organization Committee, for the purpose of making. Oh yay! Good to see Diane again. We get to see her later today. We get to see Diane later today, and tomorrow we get to see Diane. Tomorrow is when we see Diane. Mr. Chairman, the Temporary Organizations Committee recommended to the SRC the following temporary officers. For temporary chairman, Steve Minister. For temporary convention secretary, Mandy Shopey. And for temporary sergeant at arms, David Hodges. Mr. Chairman, that concludes my report. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The report of the Temporary Organization Committee is for information on the purpose of the Temporary Organization Committee. Yes, okay. I've met him. The chair now recognizes Mr. Bill Parker, Chairman of the Temporary Rules Committee. He's got this big shot with an arm shirt on today. <laughs> Yes, Chairman, indeed. The Temporary Rules Committee reports as follows. The committee recommended the adoption of the Temporary yes. Supplemental yes. Rules, yes. the Supplemental no, Senatorial I'm District Caucus Rules, but I not and yeah. the Supplemental <laughs> Congressional yeah. District yeah. Caucus yeah. Rules. Yeah. The State yeah. Republican yeah. Executive yeah. Committee yeah. on Wednesday yeah. at the SREC meeting. Those yeah. rules were adopted yeah. without yeah. amendment yeah. by the yeah. SREC. Yeah. The yeah. committee yeah. received yeah. testimony yeah. and recommendations for amendments to the party rules on Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, the committee adopted the following motion, that the amendments to the rules of the Republican Party of Texas are forwarded to the Permanent Rules Committee for its consideration. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And for temporary rules for informational purposes only, requires no action. Next up, report of the temporary platform committee. <laughs> Delegates. Good morning. The temporary committee, the temporary platform committee has been meeting for the last three days in marathon sessions. We have considered uh, the basis of the committee's work was the 2010 platform from last time. That became the basis of the work. It was reviewed in detail. There were a thousand pages of platform, uh, platform resolutions from the district, district and county conventions that were considered. Uh, the, the delegation of the, of the committee, having met all day yesterday, uh, provided for testimony on Monday and Tuesday in front of the subcommittees, and for an hour and a half yesterday uh, in its general session and heard all the testimony that uh, anyone offered uh, to provide. Uh, finally, I want to mention to you that the committee has moved that the temporary committee report is submitted to the permanent committee pages, if we've reduced the pages from 32 to 22 pages, but at the same time have not reduced the number of planks, but attempted to clean up some of the language. For those of you that were concerned about the pro-life plank, it is, in, it is verbatim the 2010 platform. The committee, the, the permanent committee will be meeting this evening at 8 p.m and it must adjourn by 9.45 so the report can be sent to the publishers to have it printed in time for this uh, delegation to go to see it. That's the report that, uh, that's the report that thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Chairman Meckler. That report is for informational purposes and requires no action by the convention. Thank you, Tom. By the way, you're doing a great job as our president. That's the end of the business that we need to conduct regarding the committees and we'll now move forward with the rest of the program.